Welcome back to Buckeye Country. If you're a returning viewer, I'm glad you're back. If you're new, welcome. Today's video is going to be a thrifting video in Batesville, Arkansas, but we will also visit some different locations. So sit back, relax, and join us on our journey. Man, that Good sun morning. is bright. Goodness gracious. We're about to do breakfast at McDonald's. Yep. And then we're gonna head out to Batesville, Arkansas to hit some flea markets. And then we're gonna go to Ash Flat and then Hardy and hit some of the flea markets in Hardy. So, but right now we're gonna grab some breakfast. And you order what you want. Money's no object. <laughs> at McDonald's, of course. <laughs> Nothing's too good for my baby. Don't forget my sausage biscuit and my Diet Coke. Gotcha. Wonder if they got a Spam McMuffin. Ugh. I love Spam, especially when it's fried. Yuck. But you never cooked that. How come you never cooked Because I hate Spam. It's no. nasty. Mm -hmm. Stuff posing as meat. That's what Spam stands for. Birdcage Vintage Flea Market in Batesville, Arkansas. If I can get the husband out of the car or truck. Are you coming? <laughs> get him out of the truck. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. We're gonna go see what we can find. A pot, yeah. Country living gather around wall. That's cute. The first thing I saw was all this candy and then I thought, nope, I just need to walk away from the candy. But then I saw these beautiful mini dough bowls after I was distracted by the rabbit though. But I thought, oh, these would be so cute for like soap dishes or, or something like that. You know, they're just small versions of the big dough bowls. I thought these were pretty neat. I thought this little lantern decoration was very pretty. I've been thinking about doing something like that on my table, but I can't seem to find the lantern that I like. And the way these doves, not doves, swans were so pretty. And there's another little bird cage. Bird cages are really nice for spring, I think, and really into summer. And as soon as I rounded the corner, I spotted these milk glass spice jars. Those are definitely an antique and very pretty. I didn't expect to see old cereal boxes though. And then I thought maybe this little carnival bowl would match the other one that I got, but it didn't. So I looked over and there was some corning ware, lots of interesting items in this flea market today. Very nice. I thought this handmade quilt was very pretty. It was just made from different scraps of material and sewed together with a roughed edge. It, just kind of like a frayed edge. I thought that was very farmhouse, very country. And then I looked over on this tree and there were these little wreath ornaments and they were just sewed together bits of material, just tiny bits of material and made it into a Christmas ornament out of a Christmas wreath. How neat was that? Thank you. 
And of course, here I am distracted by the roosters again. I just have a thing for white roosters now all of a sudden. I don't know why. I just find them very pretty and very country. And the collection of baskets on the wall, that's something I've been seeing lately. And I thought I had found a really unique um, wooden cutting board, which it was, but I just really didn't like the ceramic plate on it, so I didn't get it. And while I was looking at this collapsible coat rack, I saw this thing that I thought was a book, but it's actually something that you can press flowers with. And it even had the instructions on it. I thought that was neat. You could press dry flowers. And, of course, another rooster. And I spotted this cute little cabinet from... A distance and I thought man that would be really pretty in the bathroom hmm not a bad price either so many cute wooden things check out these faux birdhouses and that coat rack pretty nice pretty nice if I do say so myself I was really surprised by the prices on these depression glass pieces. They were not bad at all. Like this set of glasses. I mean, that's so pretty. And check out that picture and that vase right there on the left. That caught my eye because it kind of matches the one that my grandmother gave me. But if you like pink depression glass, these people can hook you up. The great thing about shopping at different flea market locations is you never know what kind of item is going to catch your eye on which day. Like the roosters for me is a new thing. And of course, these white pictures are a thing for me. Y'all know if you've watched any of my videos that I like to collect the white cream pictures and ironstone pictures. But Get out and explore your local flea markets and antique shops and look around because you never know what may catch your eye. You may never know what little gem that you'll find that you absolutely cannot live without. And if you are looking for a set of these blue dishes, these are perfect and at a great price. I thought I had found a unique and different type of rolling pin. But no, they're thread spools. <laughs> but do they not look like rolling pins? Mm -hmm. 
And this booth had a collection of Disney items. If you like Disney items, unique Disney items, you need to check out this booth at this flea market. I mean, look at this stuff. This is really nice, good quality stuff. I mean, <laughs> Monsters, Inc. and Bambi and Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse. I think there were even some Winnie the Pooh. But, nice. So, if you're into that, you need to go check this booth out. And this is something I've been seeing more and more of in the flea markets are these old antique mantle clocks is what I call them. My Uncle Edgar used to collect them and work on them. Check out this old radio. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this one. That was pretty unique. And here's another one of the old clocks. Brings back memories for me. And there's a pitcher and bowl stand. Another joy that I get from visiting flea markets and that you may get from visiting a flea market or an antique shop are the memories that items bring back. You can come across something and go, oh my goodness, I remember when aunt so-and-so had these or I remember uncle so-and-so having these or grandma had these or grandpa had these. It brings back great memories. Just by walking through them, you don't even have to buy them. I mean, you just never know. This was a very unique find. I'm still not quite sure what it is. Is it a corn shucker? If you know, drop me a note in the comments below and let me know what that machinery was. This booth had some good smelling soap and hand lotions and stuff. The man bar. I asked my husband if he needed a man bar, but he didn't think he really needed a man bar. <laughs> and I turn around and he's filming me, you guys. He's filming me filming footage for my channel. I didn't know he was doing that today, but you'll see clips through here like this next clip coming up where he was recording me. Yep. Sneaky man. He's sneaky.
if you are into collecting salt shakers, this booth can help you add to your collection. They had some that I had never seen before. Different ones, very unique ones. So if you're into salt shaker collections, you would wanna check out this booth. Isn't it funny how our tastes change from when we were young to when we get older? I can remember my mom had antiques, and I really did not like them. I just didn't care for them at all, wanted to get rid of them. And now here I am out doing the same thing that my mother used to do, visiting flea markets and antique shops and looking for those unique pieces to go in my home. There's another clip that my husband snuck in. That's me in that blue shirt. And this booth here had all sorts of horse tackle. I was really surprised. I mean, look at this horse blanket. That's, I think that's a good price for that, isn't it? Very horse pad, excuse me. And this tackle piece here with the fringes, that would be beautiful on like a white horse. Caps, belts, cowboy hats, you name it, this booth had it. And if you're looking for a beautiful dresser and mirror, this one is a great buy. And y'all, this picture or this video did not do this dresser justice at all. I remember my sister having those statues, those home interior statues. My oldest sister had them. Check out this unique antique stove. It was sold, of course, but I thought it was very, very cool. So nice. That's a pretty chair also. Oh, I think I may have found my bird cage. Hmm. I wonder if that will work. I'm not sure. Let me hang it here unless... Oh my goodness, look at those candle holders. I'm not sure if I'm going to get that bird cage yet or not. I'll have to contemplate that. Just not sure yet. I'm distracted by these bird houses. Aren't these adorable? Different sizes, single bird houses, and then they had these, what they called condo bird houses, which had multiple apartments, I guess you would call it for the birds. Different colors, those were so pretty.
So remember, if you see something that you like in this portion of the video, this is at the Birdcage Vintage Market Flea Market in Batesville, Arkansas. It's on Highway 62 and 412. You can't miss it. And I have been looking for these type of boxwood wreaths that don't cost a fortune to go in my lantern. Oh, and she's got lamb's ear. Wow. We all know lamb's ear looks very nice in farmhouse decor. Or really in any type of decor at all. It looks really good. And check out these birdhouses. Oh my goodness, this is a church house. I may just have to have one of these. And that cute little basket there caught my eye. Very nice. But, hmm. Something keeps drawing my eye back in the other direction. I wonder what that could be. Yep, it's the bird houses. Oh my gosh. Hmm, so pretty and would look so good outside my front porch. These pieces were unique because these wall decor items were made with actual bullet caps, I guess is what you call them. I thought they were pretty unique. Well, this is the first for me. That was a porcelain bedpan. I'd never seen one like that. But gentlemen, here's a bunch of different tools and farm utensils. Hmm. I love this cake plate. It says, relax, it's store-bought. <laughs> that was so cool. I thought that was the coolest thing. And check out this old cookie jar. Man, that's an old antique cookie jar. And this vendor had unique decor pieces that were made with seashells. These were handmade, hand painted.
I thought this was a very clever use of an old door. They just put shelving on it and made a shelving unit out of it. I thought that was a good use for an old door. Repurpose, reuse. And if you like unique, one-of-a-kind wooden items made of cedar, this vendor had some very pretty pieces. I mean, look at this table. Gorgeous. This is what happens while I'm inside shopping. He gives out on me and goes to sleep. <laughs> this was a flea market that we spotted from the road. And we thought, hey, this looks very promising. Very unique on the outside. So we thought we would go in and check it out and see what we could find. This shop turned out to be a lot smaller on the inside than it appeared on the outside, but the unique items are usually what you find in a place like this, like this rooster. So don't be afraid to stop at the small shops. I ended up only purchasing one item from the shop. This cute little bonnet. The junkie places usually have what you like. The junkiest place has places have the stuff that I like. So that's what we'll we're, find out. We're going now. My poor husband thought this shop would have man items, and it didn't. <laughs> 
It had women items is what he calls them. It had home decor items and kitchen items and stuff like that. Bless his heart, he just knew from the way it looked on the outside, it was going to have car parts and different things like that in it. And if you see something in this portion of the video that you like, these items are located at the Vintage Beetle Antique Shop in Ash Flat, Arkansas. And my husband spotted the lemon decor right away. He's like, you gotta film that for your knees. So, Amanda, if you see this, they're in Ash Flat, Arkansas. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing and I want to thank you so much for watching and remember go out and make those memories with the ones you love